In this season of the Hardcore One Health Challenge, a below average skilled Minecraft player spawns in a hardcore world with only one health, unforgiving amplified terrain, and worst of all, a deadly wall stopping at nothing to hunt them down and end it all. Will I ever survive with these conditions for three excruciating days? Well, there's only one way to find out. Hello everyone, welcome to Season 2 of my Minecraft One Health Hardcore Challenge. I'm excited to start it out. So as you can see here, we have Hardcore, we got the Amplified World Type, and of course we got all these four data packs for us to play. And yeah, let us begin. Alright, here we go, our very first attempt. Let us see. So yeah, here we go with my first ever attempt at this challenge. It all starts with me showing you guys the wall. So yeah, as you can see, the wall's right behind us here. Yeah, this wall's gonna be an issue. Ooh, look at how intimidating the wall looks, guys. I am... Yeah, it's very scary. Right, anyway. Oh my god, dude. Uh, the wall's so close. <laughs> I should have been focusing on the wall instead of focusing on destroying the tree. I was also marveling at the beauty of Amplified Terrain. This is majestic though, look at this terrain, this terrain is nuts. I love it, but at the same time for this challenge, I don't think this terrain's really good for me. I don't think this terrain is the best. <laughs> and uh, here's the most embarrassing moment. And that was when I was stuck on top of this rock because of poor path planning. I could have made a boat or done anything else, like go back and plan a better path. But instead, what I spent doing was... Oh my god, it... it the terrain ahead is so bad though. Hmm. I, oh my god, yeah, I know the wall's getting close. It's below 25 blocks. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Alright, go, 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 go! Yes! Okay, uh, being underwater will speed up the wall, so I have to get out of the water ASAP. After that conundrum of getting stuck on a rock for very long, the rest of the playthrough was me trying to desperately swim away from the wall, which was very close to me at this point. The fact that I was swimming also meant that the wall was catching up to me and very, very quickly. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Can we outrun the wall? Look, 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 look at this, guys. Just look at this. The wall is catching up. Slowly but surely, it's catching up. We need to go on land ASAP. Otherwise... Oh, no. 13 blocks. 11 blocks! Okay, go, go, go. 10 blocks. 9 blocks. Are you kidding me? It's so close! Ah! Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We have to go on water again. Oh, this is dreadful. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. We may have survived that very close encounter with the wall. It was 6 blocks away at its closest, which is crazy. But, well, you'll soon find out that in the water, the wall isn't the only threat. Oh god, there's there's drowns too. If there's one with a trident, I'm I'm oh, there's one with a trident! There's one with a trident! Zigzag! 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 Oh, oh my god! From that point on, I had a newfound fear of the waters, and especially from the drowned. In fact, my fear of the drowned were so great at one point of the challenge, it would absolutely bite me in a future attempt. But well, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We survived through 12% of the challenge. For reference, the first night starts at 20% of the challenge, so I was over halfway through the day, which honestly isn't really bad for my first try. And with that, we move on to attempt number two. In attempt two, I spawned in a pretty flat area, which was a rarity in amplified worlds. It was to the point where I questioned if the world type really was amplified or not. Well, is this is amplified. Yeah, it is amplified, okay. I got a bit carried away chopping trees and crafting things before moving away from the wall. Okay, this seems good. Alright, go, 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 run, 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 run. Oh, there's water too. Oh, wait, no, no, we, oh, yeah, there is water. Ah, oh, crap. Should have probably started crafting a little bit later than this. Alright, we can get the stone here. 
I got carried away killing chickens, but luckily my prayers were answered afterwards. Need food. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright, run, 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 run. 20 blocks and I'm still killing chickens. Now I hope there's more animals in front of us. Alright. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? You ask and ye shall receive. And I asked for more food and I received them. Let's go. There's no time to even farm chickens because there's a wall approaching us. We have to never stop. We have to keep moving. And keep moving I did until I reached a whopping 100 blocks away from the wall. Which is when I started crafting. Okay, I think we're a very good distance away. We can probably craft more furnaces. Yeah, we got a lot of cobble. Oh, why did I do that? One, two... I'm, I'm making two because I want to have one for the smoker. Bam! Now, oh, we only have one coal. Are you serious? Okay, we're gonna have to get more coal then. I know I could probably just make charcoal, but I've never been a charcoal y kind of guy. Anyway, oh my god. Oh, okay, uh, we need to go from the right here. I need to go around this huge rock. I think it's gonna be a lot better for the long run to get away from the wall. But I could be doing other things as well. Since we have a pretty straightforward path ahead, yeah, we could probably craft some things like. Um, Let's make a shovel and of course most importantly let us make a boat ba bam there we go this looks good so at this point i was at my most prepared at least more prepared than my previous attempt i even had time to enjoy the view some more wow look at this this is majestic guys this is the beauty of an amplified world i cannot get enough of it but it's not this, this is not the playthrough to be enjoying such beauty you know but little did I know that I was still extremely ill-equipped to face the night. I was still looking for coal, and it never even occurred to me to look for iron, which is pretty much a lifeline for a one health challenge. You'll see why as night fast approaches. No exposed coal? No. No exposed coal at all. Oh god, it's getting so dark. I don't think it's that dark for you guys, because I have gamma up, but for me it's getting really dark barely see ahead and we yep a skeleton will absolutely kill us now because we do not have a shield oh no we're very very likely going to die tonight but let's hope that miracles happen and we could somehow survive okay coal oh my god not a single coal are you kidding me ah oh. <gasps> instead of pausing taking deep breaths and tackling a life or death situation like this properly and rationally I did some of the worst block placement in Minecraft you've ever seen, which didn't really end well for me. Uh, oh my god, that was a f***ing creeper. Oh, no, 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 ah, I think we're dead, I think we're dead. Yep, we're dead. Yeah, we weren't surviving that night anyway. I was clearly not proud of that death, but what else can you do when you panic? Sometimes your brain just... Loses all function when you panic. And well, that's the end of attempt 2. I barely made it to the night. The progress was 18.71%, which was barely above 18%. So, yeah, we're gonna move on from that terrible death. And on to attempt number 3. This attempt had the audacity to start right off by mocking me with unobtainable iron and coal. Aww, oh, the, the coal over there and iron are all mocking me. Like, oh, Delta, come and get us. No, I f***ing can't, bro. But joke's on them because I managed to obtain some later on, which is amazing. As well, GG's. Um, okay, nice. Ooh, coal! Now, this is accessible coal, but they'll need to check for creepers or anything. I think it's relatively safe. Yeah, I think it's safe. Oh my god, there's iron as well. That's, this is huge. Not only that, but I managed to make the craziest clutch water jump of all time. Oh my god, oh my god. Could I make this? Oh, oh go, go, go. Yes, yes. Dude, I was so close to death there. What a crazy jump. Yes, oh my god. That was like a block away from death! <laughs> oh my lord! Okay, good. Oh, my heart. My goddamn soul, dude. Alright, anyway. 
I then had to go through two zombies on the water. I don't know why I didn't just try to parkour and place blocks below me on the water, but I think two near-death moments was too greedy for me, so I went with the noob's way of navigating around them instead. <gasps> there's a z oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god, there's water, there's zombies, there. Ah, uh, just, just what we need. Just what we need, guys. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Oh my god, there's... Oh, how do I get around this? Oh god, the walls are 20 blocks away. Go, go. Run, 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 run. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. There's so many... So much... Oh god, oh god. Oh. oh okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, dude. Making water dangerous was not the best decision, but yeah, it makes things interesting, you know? All right, guys, we are in a reasonable distance away from the wall. Let's go. Finally, after all that crazy action, I could finally catch a break and start prioritizing on preparing for everything I need to survive the night, since I actually had the materials for that. All right, this is, a, this is perfect terrain for... Yeah, it's all right all around and uh, they need to go forward. All right, now is the perfect time. Ah, oh, we don't have enough stone though. Okay, I suppose we could settle with one furnace for now. All right, let's smelt some raw iron. I should be getting more wood as well. I'm gonna get more wood. How's the smelting? Oh, very slow, but at the very least we got one and you know what that means? We could make a sh shield. We could make a boat. And yeah, I guess that's all I need right now. I mean, I could also make a bucket for the water bucket clutch. The color of the sunlight is starting to turn orange, which means one thing, that night is fast approaching. And this time, I'm a lot more prepared, especially with my lifeline, the shield. But wait, oh no, what's this? Hey, a sheep, give me your meat. Give me your meat. After that stupid skit, I collected more coal and navigate through treacherous amplified terrain to push forward. And well, what do you know? The moon is out. We have finally survived until the night. And not only that, we get an unpleasant surprise telling us that the night has officially begun. Oh god, there's a skeleton. Please, only one. Oh god, there's two! Shoot each other! Shoot each other! Shoot each other, yes. Yes, yes, come on. Go, 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 go. It's a battle, it's a battle. Oh my god. Yes, yes. Oh no. Yes, let's fucking go. We beat two skeletons. Well, one, but... With what was possibly the biggest surprise attack by the mobs we absolutely dreaded the most, we continued deeper into the night approaching a magnificent yet ominous mesa biome. Ah yes, the calm before the storm. Right, we could, we could chill here, we don't need to run, we don't need to sprint, we don't need to fall into unnecessary gaps. Where was that spider? Spiders are the worst. Oh my god. Oh, there's a spawner. Run, run. There's a spawner. <gasps> you know, I could have taken cover. Uh, I could have kept running away, but um, I didn't really heed that warning. Let's see how it goes. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude. No, 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 no. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, ah, no! Well, that situation went from 0 to 100 too quickly for my tastes, and I just didn't really know how to react. There was a lot of things I could've done differently, but as always, when I panic, my brain just stops working so I mess up a lot. Despite that, I survived until the night with a solid 22% personal best, and I think this is a good spot to end the first episode of potentially many more to season 2 of my One Health Hardcore Challenge. If you made it this far, I genuinely hope that you liked the video. And well, if you want to let me know you do, as always, you can let me know by... Liak and subscribe.